created mainly so that indigenous people within Lagos State could access justice from claim. Prior to the this tired era, this administration, there is nothing like OPD justice. What we have was we chilled because there's the legal aid council. And the legal aid council, I remember when I was still prosecuting, they had just one council to deal with cases within Lagos State. But this administration believes so much in good governance. And they believe that there cannot be good governance if you cannot access justice. So this office was created by Ashura Jibola Administration. So as to enable people to have free legal representation, and not only free legal representation in the courts, also free legal advice. So namely, that's why we are created. If that is in the series, that's important. There's one that's the open comment to justify the situation. I would say that we've been, with God's other side, we've been able to do a lot. OPD, as of today, is now a force to be reckoned with in Nigeria. There is no institution or an individual that will want to talk about legal aid or access to justice that will not mention the Office of the Court Defender because through our efforts, over 6,000 people have been able to access justice. We are representing so many people in the courts. We are offering legal advice. We practice the resolution. So, letters of appreciation to Madam Ashura Jibola to the doing in this office. The Federal Attorney General at the 58th Summit of the uh, Body of um, Attorney Generals in Nigeria mandated that all the states in the Federal Republic of Nigeria should have an office like us. I mean, if we could be recognized by the Federal Attorney General, we say that we are not doing well. Not only that, we, all, we are also recognized internationally. This time last year, I was invited to the United States of America to understudy some of their public defenders' offices. So I will say that as well. We, we, we are so successful. Now, to the director of the show, we have a few problems. Can you say how many cases you go to the school today? You are dealing with the result of the institution. Except if I have to go through my data, but if I, I have my data with me. But roughly, we handled well over 6,000 cases. For some of our petitions that are just civil matter, and that uh, we try to use alternative dispute resolution to solve such problems, we have handled well over 4,000 cases that we've been able to resolve in house in the office. Apart from such petitions, we get um, cases from the High Court regularly. All the criminal divisions in Lagos State and High Court they send cases to us because the majority of the cases that are pending in the High Court that inmates are still awaiting trial in the prisons are mainly Amrobi cases. 98% are Amrobi cases. And you find that, that most, for most of these cases, they don't usually have legal representation. So the judiciary, they are working with my office. They send in lists of such inmates to us almost every week. At the moment, we have over 400 cases that we are doing in the High Court. An average counsel in this office is finding 20 cases in the High Court, mainly murder and murder cases. Apart from that, we also have magistrate cases, magistrate cases in the magistrate court that we are handling. Then apart from over, we have well over 100 cases in the magistrate courts that we are handling. We have also filed about 40 cases on behalf of our clients. In fact, one of our clients is around, we have filed a case against Paco. What we try to do is to practice ADR. When we mediate and we try to solve the problem in the house, if the other party, the respondent, uh, disagree with us, and we feel that our client has a very good case, what we do is to file such matter in the court. Now, there's some doubt that um, the sentence is most essential to the nation. So, for this kind of important uh, assignment, how do we get to this court? How do we get to this court? 
of course, the, the, the service is free. Everybody wants free services. And I'm sure you saw a lot of clients when you were coming in. They want to come. And um, we are also trying in house to do more awareness campaigns. I've just been sending flyers that from uh, with coppers. They, they, they want to help us to distribute all this. They want to help us to distribute this. We want people to know that we are in the We are not just here at working with. We are. We have other offices too. We have other offices. We are. We have now expanded. We are now of Ireland. In fact, the governor donated this campaign office to the office. We are there. We are in Crusader House at Yaba. We are also at Uniko. Opposite Ghana Embassy. A lot of people are not aware that we are now not mainly here, that we are sub offices. So what we do now is to do an in-house campaign organization. Members of the Mitkopa, the, they call themselves the class, Christian Lawyers uh, Association. They are coming into the office, I think this Friday, to assist us in distributing the flyers. In fact, one of the honorable members, uh, Senior Desire, donated an office to us that we are working on our article. We believe that we should be, we should be there and very soon we are also going to be in the field. There's no doubt that one of your good results is not a lot of How do you sustain what are the motivations? Okay, the um, majority of the lawyers in this office are state councils employed by the legal state civil service. At the same time, we are also partly funded by the Ford Foundation. So, the grants that we get from Ford Foundation, we use Ford grants to employ project officers. They are lawyers, but they are called project officers. In this office, we are the officers in, in, in this particular office are even more than lawyers in some other states in Nigeria. Yes, yeah, well, we, I have about 25 lawyers working with me in other states before the Governor Daniel came into the scene. They had less than 20 councils for the whole of the state. And you cannot imagine an office, just a department in the Ministry of Justice having well over 25 lawyers working. Now, how has God been I would say that um, we have um, been enjoying tremendous support from the governor of Lagos State because he's not for his vision, definitely we want to be here. And um, I think we are also lucky with the Attorney General of Lagos State and also the Permanent Secretary, Professor Shibajo and uh, Mr. Fola after Wari. They have actually given me a free hand to run this office. For instance, we are coming in this morning to interview me. I didn't walk down to Alausa to find out whether the interview should be granted. You know, we, they, we have created a particular style and they believe in the autonomy of this office. They believe in the officers that are working in this office and they are very, very supportive. So recently, they just given, the governor just donated a boss to this office to be conveying lawyers from the office to the court. I mean, for me, it's a big deal. And uh, usually, when we have a fund to execute any of our projects, the governor is always willing to give us money. Because I think maybe if you use more or less that we are also promoting the image of the city and we are actually good ambassadors. So far, what are you doing? The challenges I have definitely, I would say that well, I wouldn't. Um, some people might feel that we don't probably have a cause to complain, but we still feel that uh, what we are doing can still be put upon. The attorney general is actually trying his best, but you know, as a man, we always want more. We would want them to even take care of more of, of more than uh, what they are doing at the moment. Then challenges of some clients too. For instance, we got money for a client last year. And the client was complaining, oh, my 
that are my stuff, I should get more than what they have given me. Some will come, we have to start donating money from you know either from our phones to assist them. Some will come with um, problems that we cannot even solve in this office and they would expect us to, 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 to solve the problem. They tell me that when you call yourself public defender now, you are for the public, you are for us. Some church that when they come here they, they get money. I always tell them that the only thing I know and what I've been asked to offer is legal services, nothing more than that. But on humanitarian ground, we cannot use our houses at the time to try to help them. One of our clients is outside of the city. That girl, when she lost her parents within six months, the father died within six months in the house. And the relatives were only after the property of the family. They neglected the feet of them. The girl who walked in here came into the office. I deliberated some of our people that what could we do to assist this girl. We had to get, we invited the relatives, we got them, we told them that you have to take care of, well, what is your interest? We told the property or how you want to take care of the children. At the end of the day, we did a lot for them. We assisted her in completing her father's house. I've taken four of her siblings to her village now. In fact, she, she's there. She can tell you the story. We have done so many things. And then we also meet people here that are not mentally balanced. They will come in and they show that you must solve their problem. They dictate to us what to do. And when you try to you know, pacify them or try to assist, they, in fact, one decided to even fight us here. But what can we do? We believe that um, this is an assignment ordained by God. And the governor, the only thing that we can do is to have positive value to the system and just put in our best. Yes, I want to say this of you transcending beyond legal states. At the moment, in the state, they have an office like us. Um, some few states. I want OPD to be all over Nigeria because it's the first of its kind in Africa. I've been to South Africa, but they don't have an office like this that a state on its own would create an office or a department for people within that state to enjoy free legal services. I mean, it's first of its kind in Africa. So I want, us, I want to see this office even beyond Nigeria. I want to see it in other African countries. I was even telling the head of the Office of Public Defender in the state that very soon I want to see a situation where we have Public Defenders Association where officers that are working in the office will come up as an association. We want to see how we can even encourage legal practitioners to take up pro bono cases. You know, my, my vision for public defender is definitely beyond the legal state. Thank you. For things that involve honorable cases, how do you explain the community? We think it is what we need well, we have a, a style in the office of the public defender. Usually we get letters from the court to represent such accused persons. And what we do is to put in our best because we are facing our police and the Ministry of Justice. One of the reasons why we are here, we are not within the Ministry of Justice, is to create this autonomy between Office of the Public Defender and DPP's office. Initially, when this office was established, when time I go to the prisons and I tell them that, oh, we are ready to represent you, Rada, where are you from? They got State Minister of Justice. Ah. Now, your people are prosecuting us. Why should you defend us? I always tell them, yes, I am, the government is paying me, but I'm here to handle your, your matter. Properly, I am here to represent you. You must have confidence in me. If you want us to do it, we'll put in our best. If you don't want us to do it, you are free not to take uh, our services. 
and I usually ask them to fill up a form. We, ha we have a form. After a while, they are the ones writing us now. Writing us from the prisons to represent them. Because lawyers in this office have been able to distinguish themselves. We have won cases against our colleagues in the DPP department. We have won so many cases against them. We have applied to the court that a lot of cases that our colleagues do not get their witnesses should be struck out. And no, we've been day in, day out. We have photographs of cancers or of inmates that have been able to get out of the prison. I'll show you some of their photographs. They come, they write a lot of application, they tell us, they share their experiences with us. The day before yesterday, I just went to the prison because I received all this letter and written by the inmates asking the Office of the Public Defender to represent them. I have photographs of inmates that we have assisted in this office. They come in here regularly. In fact, almost every week we get one or two people out of the prison because the administration of criminal justice is tough. At times, our colleagues in the DPP department are even effort where a matter, maybe an offense was committed about 10 years ago. The witnesses, they are not likely to get their witnesses. Meanwhile, that accused person will be in custody. But due to our own representation, if you do, cannot prove your case, since you cannot manufacture evidence, who will tell the court that, well, this man is still presumed innocent until proven guilty by this court? You have to let a client go, and we've been able to do a lot of that. I'll show you very later, I'll show you photographs of some people that will be able to get out. But what I do, after getting them out, I try to see how some people could be rehabilitated. Because I'm equally worried about getting people out without rehabilitating them properly. I'm concerned that getting them out without giving them tools to work, without getting jobs for them, could lead to a problem. So we are working with other NGOs. We work with Prower Prison Rehabilitation um, Center, World and Welfare Center. We work with so many organizations, with Shepard, even Kyle Day Williams. We work with them. We, we work even with the Church of Assumption Parliament because majority of them, they told us that while they were in prison, the church assisted them. So when they said all that to us, we write letters to such churches. And even within house, whatever we can do to assist in a very small way, financially, we do it for them. So, what is your advice? My advice is um, that if you have any legal problem and you are an indigent person living within the state, you could be Yoruba, you could be Igbo, you could be Awusa, you could be anybody from anywhere. As long as you are living within Lagos State and you don't have money to employ a lawyer to represent you in the court, please come to the office of the public defender. The governor has established the office to assist people like you. We have so many lawyers. And the only thing that we know how to do now very well is to represent such people. So come to us. We are here at Motorway, Central Post Seven. We are also at Allen Avenue, the Democracy House 11 for Lawe Wall Street, opposite to Nibongo local government. You can also get our officers at Crusader uh, House on the 8th floor, Yaba, opposite Yaba uh, Baptist Church, and also at uh, uh, on the island, number 18, King George Road, opposite Ghana Embassy. We are there to serve you, and we can be a rest assured, and we will do our best to help you. Thank you.
Even if you want your children to move, you have to consult us. And the other part is instead of moving, we still have to ask. And the man said that we should not forget any more, that we should leave him to know that the only thing we want is to just pack everything in the room and let us have our room back. After giving us our room back, he said he can't, he will not allow us to, he will not allow us to get any more. He went there, 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 no, the only thing we did there, according to him, is the uh, roof. I know that that, including my sister, she did not take anything. We are living there with her father. We are living there with my father. I went down, took her two or three times there, and there is my church. She went down. Later, all of she said we uh, should come. We went for a meeting with her. We were talking about the church. So let's all not go straight for the family. Let's decide on our own. Every one of us is so good. You, you are the first one. You are already over for, uh, 40. So Even me, I, that time I was like 3 years old. Mm -hmm. The last one is only 27 or 25 years old. That time. So, Before we lost our mom, my mom, before we lost our mom, we lost our daddy on uh, October 24th, 2002. And so that period, the, our uncles and our aunties, you know, our village people, they were like, they, were, they wanted to take everything my daddy had from my mom. The house, the two cars, the bus and the car from her. So when she denied everything and the account, they wanted to collect the passbook, they were asking her for so many things and she denied everything. So they were threatening her that if she didn't bring it, that they would do this to her, they would do that to her. At the end of the day, she, they, they couldn't get it. So when she came back, she fell sick due to, you know, due to, I don't know what they did to her. She fell sick and uh, since then she has been sick for so long till... Um, 2003, 27th of May, she died. Before she died, I, when I saw that the sickness was so much and uh, we were hoping she would recover until when, when the something was so much, I had to get, I told her to give me the particulars of the house and everything. She said no, that she would be okay, she would be okay. You know, when she was sleepy, I, had, I went to steal it from her. Then I, I went to some people, I was asking them, how do I do this thing, that my name is Siko. And then, when yeah, anything that happens now, they will collect everything. And before then, one of our uncle was saying, this sickness that is doing, uh, that is, that is doing your, your mom, that at the end of the day, if she dies like this, all of you will be taken to the village, you will go and suffer there. I was not even gone to the village since we were born, our daddy has not taken us to the village. Yeah, the properties will get to be taken out from us. Oh, well, they, 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 they. Yeah, they have really helped us. They, they have really helped us. When we lost our mom, we had nobody there. Everybody just left us. We even slept with the cops for a day inside our room. Me and my younger ones, we slept there with the cops. They left us. At the end of the day, they came back with took the cops away. They, they sent my forcing me to, to school just on scholarship without payment, even their clothing, their feeding, everything about their schooling. They've been taking care of it. My daddy's uh, uncompleted building, they helped us to move to Rumsted apartment and uh, we've been staying, they've helped us in so many ways. They, they've been helping us. You know, we had nothing but from their course, all this was taken care of. And uh, myself and my younger sister, they were supporting us in the bank, so, you know. Now, how did you start to do this? Did you pay them? So, so, their services is genuinely okay. They, they don't even, like, the letter of administration, I supposed to get money to give them to 
get the form, do this, you know, for going to the bank and so on. So they, they brought everything out of their purse. Their service is genuinely okay. So, guys, I, I'm appreciating it. I really, I thank them for everything they've done for this issue. Uh, my advice to the they are my advice for the legations and the less privileged is then they should when they have a similar case like this, they should try and you know, consult some people who can who knows about all these things and when they come they should make sure they appreciate what they have been done to. Not after going, they'll go there and tell them maybe when you give out of your own you start telling them ah they get, they ask me to give ten percent of what they have helped me, you know. You know, you tell others and you appreciate it from your heart. I just want to thank them very much for my Have you been seen? Have you been seen? Why? I come here because I was having a problem. I was working with a Bacon Nigeria Limited. So um, I started work with them um, on the 24th of August 1989. I worked with them 12 years. After 12 years, then they are, they are using a chemical called Santex. So I work with them. Here. So the chemical entered my eye. When the chemical entered my eye, they took me to uh, loot. They kept me in loot for three weeks. They restored me from, from loot. They took me to private. From there, they went to do operation. They removed the eye. So when they removed the, 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 when they removed the eye, they put the artificial. Then I continue to come back and resume work. I resume work after one year they give me a letter of redundancy. So after giving me a letter of redundancy, then they said in, in the in the letter, they said after because he said that the company has no money again. So that is the reason they should go. They should go and wait. And when the work is good they will reemploy me back again. Since then I think they are calling me back. So that's why? That is what I was the reason. Call me back. And what is this office being of assistance? Yes. Um, they helped me because I did not have money to pay a lawyer. That is why I come to this place. Then when I come here, in fact, my com this, this office called uh, my company a letter. After I written them a, a letter, they replied that they don't know me. They, what happened to me is not from the from the uh, police, from the company. So the, my lawyer went back again. So from there, invited them, they refused to come. I took them to court. Well, I have heard some people, if they have some like this, if you come to office of OPD, well, they are going to help them. In case you don't have money, because in the entire year, no day they are asking them to go of any kind. Uh, what is the, what is the, the 
chose to go to this place. Well, I chose to come to the office of the public defender because um, I had a problem with my former boss. And um, a friend of mine told me about them and uh, to the advantage which the office provided. So, what way? I'm living with uh, our assistance to you. Um, in a lot of ways, actually, because uh, my former boss has been waiting for over a year and I've uh, been going to the office to try to retrieve my money, but all was not positive. So, I came to OPD this year, April, and um, roughly a month after I came to OPD, actually, one third of the money has been used to me from my former company. And um, the services have been effective, and um, the lawyer who was in my case, Mr. Leinga, was pretty concerned and dedicated to the work. And um, she didn't collect any money from me because the services are free. And um, she was quite pleasant doing her work. Um, I will say that a lot of people out there who do not know that um, such a service exists should um, be made aware of such so that um, they will know how to go about addressing issues that uh, require mitigation and probably don't have enough money to go about it. I think OPD should go, um, create more awareness about their office so that people can take more advantage of it because a lot of people out there are really suffering thinking they have to see lawyers who charge pretty high fee. Okay. They will face too much. Nobody will be that. It's that okay by you. You will not say anything. Is that okay by you? I don't know what you will talk about. What I would like to talk, I will tell the legend know that we will be able to get 414,000 naira for you now. I don't know what to say. We have received another motion now to the set of the case. I'm starting that this is an abuse of It is, it is, because we are not. I am sure that this new one, we have started it in another case. The other one is just asking that he's joined. Joined! And they, 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 they are not joined him now, he's asking for an injunction. They are not joined him in court, so, and I'm sure this is from another court. The one for joining is coming up tonight. Mm. Mm. They will be talking in court now. Mm. I, want, I want to see how they can lay claim to a property that does not come to them. Yeah. They need to see. Their criminal matter is coming up to date.